What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another Flipping for Profit video. Today we're going to be cleaning out the eBay room and getting rid of some stuff. The boxes are just everywhere. We have the McFarlane figures that I decided to keep for my collection. Everything's just scattered around. All of the McFarlane figures that I had for sale have sold. So now I have some space to put some extra totes. So we're going to be cleaning this room and making it look nice once again. And I'm going to do something else with where I'm going to be putting my inventory. But let's start cleaning this out. So I did buy some new totes. We did make some progress. I just moved the boxes out of the way for now. And we're going to start going through the totes, seeing if there's anything we want to get rid of, which in my personal collection, I don't think there's much, but I did put all of the McFarlane figures in one of the totes, so that cleared out a lot of it already, and we're just going to start going through piece by piece, it's starting to take shape, but I know a lot of the totes... These are really great totes, great heavy duty ones, but I do want to put those speakers in a tote as well and kind of get them off of the dresser and just free up some more space since I'm not using them right now, but I do plan whenever we do move to use them and have them set up somewhere, probably in a workshop or something like that. And I do want to decide what to do with these boxes because they are just a mess and some of them are just not good for shipping or to keep. So I did go through the boxes and I did fold up the ones that... Uh, I did want to keep. It does take a less space. I did put a bunch of the flyers that I had in those boxes over here. I already had a bunch there, but I did put some more. So the boxes itself, we got rid of all the damaged ones, the ones that won't be able to ship. And then now what's in some of the totes. So one of the totes is a bunch of uh, books and stuff uh, from Ashley that she wanted to keep. This one here is a bunch of my hockey figures and other geeky stuff. Uh, underneath we do have some other Funkos as well that I wanted to store for now just because I don't have space to display everything right now. So I went ahead and put those in totes as well and cleaned up some of that stuff. Over here is a bunch of my hockey cards and hockey tins and stuff that I do want to keep. So I went through that. I didn't dig too much out. We went ahead and we put the stereo and speakers in a tote. I did find the remote as well. Here's all the McFarland figures that I kept. I just put them in a tote they fit perfectly so that was awesome and already the room is coming to shape it looks a lot better than it once did and I'm so happy so far with the progress those totes in the corner just stacking them four high worked perfectly in the future I might get two more and stack them five high because they can stack pretty good but it does look better so far and I absolutely love how the room does look now it just looks all nice, clean, neat, tidy, organized. The boxes are all collapsed in one spot. I have access to the filing cabinet once again. I know what's in the totes. We did remove some of the uh, blinds just because we didn't want to damage them because they went right up in the corner. So we put them away, moved the gray totes away into the corner here. I think that's where we're going to be putting future inventory. The board games are a personal board games, so we kept them out, made everything neat and tidy, and everything looks way better than it did whenever we did have the McFarland figures. Now that they're sold, we did clear up all this space, and it looks amazing. So there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This room honestly looks so much better now. It looks all nice, clean, neat, and tidy. All of the boxes up here are collapsed, so it takes up a lot less space. I did get rid of some of the boxes that were just not worth keeping, whether they were already cut up or just garbagey or just destroyed. I ended up tossing all of them. All of the totes look nice and neat in this corner here. The gray totes, there's still room to put inventory whenever I do flip for profits. All my inventory is probably going to go in those totes or on boxes on those totes. This box here has a few things in it. It's going to be gone. What's on it is going to be gone soon as well. So there is going to be room to put my inventory without over cluttering the room like it was previously. Now that the McFarland figures are gone, this room should stay neat and tidy for a long time. As you can see, there is still some stuff that I have over here, some figures and hockey stuff, but the shelf here, the dresser, is all nice, clean. The speakers and uh, stereo is put away in one of the totes. We just have our own personal board games here, so it's not gonna be piled high to the ceiling like it once was, and I'm really happy for that. Everything looks nice, clean, everything has its own place. Everything is organized once again. The next step on my list, not for the Flipping for Profit series, but just for myself, is to go through the comics down here that I did end up keeping. This is my personal collection. 
and I'm going to go through them and see what I want to sell and see what I actually want to keep because I want to try to limit what I am keeping and just keep what I really want and go through the comics that I have in my personal collection in the closet and do the same thing. And whatever I decide to keep, I'm going to re-bag and board and start to make my collection look nice once again. I might show you guys that in different series on the channel, but that is my next step. But the room came together really nice. Now that the figures are gone, hopefully it stays this way for a long time, and hopefully the inventory that I do purchase from now on will be put in the gray totes, or at least on or around the gray totes, and not take up the entire room like the McFarland figures did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.